Morning presentation was recorded live in Cincinnati, Ohio for Color Lab's 25th Annual Convention. This is Tape 25, Music Harmony. Hello, hello everybody. We're on tape now. <laughs> My name is Jerry Hardy. I'm a square dance pollen and also an elementary music teacher. My husband Chuck Hardy is sitting up here at the desk and he's my harmonic uh, partner when we call together. Uh, I've been calling about seven years and uh, singing about all my life and working in choral groups, etc., etc. And when Jerry Reed called me to uh, say, how about doing a harmony session and uh, teaching people how to sing harmony? And I thought, well, you know, I can't teach you to sing harmony in, in one session. That, that's not going to happen here. But I can give you some tools uh, and techniques and probably an exercise that if you get this tape and you repeat it and repeat it, uh, you may start to hear a few things, and a lot of you maybe sing harmony already, and we'll give you a chance toward the end of the session to practice some harmony if you'd like. Um, this is kind of ear training, tuning in to what you hear around you as well as hearing your own voice. And in harmony, that's what we have to do. We have to not only hear what we're singing, but hear what the person next to us is singing, and possibly all around us is singing, if you can manage that and still carry the melody throughout. Because that's what the person who sings harmony does. They're listening to, as in the case of Square Dance Calling, they're listening to the patter record. And actually, all of you are harmonizers. If you use a patter record and fit your voice into the patter uh, key, the patter structure, the harmonic structure of that particular uh, patter record, you are harmonizing because your voice has to blend into the instrumentation on the record. So it's not as, as um, mysterious as you may think. Um, on the board here are some things that we're going to do first to get you in tune to um, just the key of C major, which I hope will be a good key for everybody. Because some of you may be saying, oh, you know, she's a woman, she's got a real high voice, and uh, how am I going to be able to sing where she's singing? Well, it's not that so much as that the men here will be singing down the octave, whereas the women will be singing up the octave. And if you know what an octave is, if we play C here, the octave down here is C for the men down here, okay? So I heard a lot of you in the, um, in the session for the voice uh, quality and voice range and wow what a great sound for row 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 your boat I was all thrilled <laughs> so I hope you give me that this session um, what we're going to do is kind of work with what we've got here in the three sections for three part harmony we're going to change the tones so that you hear and listen I'm not going to help you too much though with, with this uh, electronic piano that we have here what we want to do is for you to hear it you to hear the changes you to hear the steps and uh, so what I have up here is a visual representation of sound and that's what written music is it's just a language a visual representation of this particular uh, key, which we're working in C major because it has no accidentals and black notes for me to play. But it's a good key for most everybody. And the C major scale, and most of our patter records and most of our singing calls are in the major key. We have a few. I have one here that I probably do in minor. But uh, that's a different mode and that's a different feel and there's a lot of talk about whether you should use minor at all in a square dance. I do. Uh, I think it's a nice change. But we'll work with C major, uh, C major and we'll work with a major mode during this session so that we just get that feel for it. So in the major scale... We have eight tones, the first and the last, which are the same uh, letter name, but of course an octave apart. And within this major scale, we have whole steps and half steps. The half steps are right here in between three and four, and the half steps here are between seven and eight. It's important to know those half steps, because that's what really makes it a major scale is where the half steps are. And then the rest are just whole steps between one and two, two and three. And we can create a major scale just by using that pattern on any key of the keyboard or in any tone. You can start on C 
and sing up the scale. Go ahead. Use the numbers. Don't use anything else for right now because numbers are pretty universal for everybody. So using the numbers, sing the scale starting on one. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that difficult for some men? No? Yes? You're going to make me use black notes, huh? Black keys? <laughs> okay. Well, if it gets real, real hard. Who is it real hard for where you were really, uh? No? Yes? Okay. Well, all right. Uh, <laughs> so, we can start on any other note and do the same thing. And let's start on this note, which is A on the keyboard, and maybe that's easier for some. And we can do the same thing, but I have to, you know, adjust my fingers. That's easier, isn't it, for most? That's an A major scale. Okay, we're going to stick with C major just for, uh, we won't go any higher, as you can see in the exercise on D. We're not going any higher than an A, maybe a B. But um, it, w it won't stretch you too much when we do that. So um, then when we get to triads, which is where we get into the harmony, we're going to build on each note of the scale. And when we build on each note of the scale, we create a chord. And the best chord that we can do is by using the third and the fifth, because that blends well. If I use one and two, we get this sound. And it's not pleasant. It's a dissonant sound. So it doesn't make a real good chord for us to harmonize with. Or if we use three and four, it's a worse sound. So we don't create chords that way. We create a triad which has a pleasing sound to it. One, three, and five. All right? Then we can do that all the way up the scale. And each chord has its own flavor. It's a major chord, minor chord, minor chord, actually a minor a little bit out and then a major chord and then another major chord and these three this first major the fourth and the fifth which are constructed on the first fourth and fifth of the scale make up most of the harmonization that we find in country and western and popular music okay there's a lot of other chords too using the two chord a lot um Two six actually, which will will give you a different will will add more harmonization to your tune. So, but just working with one four and five, if you can hear those changes within your within your song, within when whatever you're doing, then if you can hear where it changes, you can adjust your voice that way, and this is where the harmony comes in. Now. Um, in the C section that I have with passing tones, uh, and I've skipped over a whole lot of stuff that I wanted to, to review before I even got into this, but we'll back up a little bit. The passing tones in your handout, passing tones are any tone that come in between the harmonic structure. Bach, Mozart, and a lot of jazz, improvisational jazz, uses a lot of passing tones, a lot of things in between. Like, here's a melody, summertime and the living is easy. But if I did, summertime and the living is easy, we got a lot of different tones in there, not the melody, but it is a harmonization, a type of harmonization because it's just a little bit different than the melody and that's what harmony is also. Okay, um, going back to just a little review of what we're going to do during this um, um, session and I'll get back to the, the D, the, the basic chord structure in a minute. Uh, we're going to provide, you know, the exercises that we're going to do and also uh, we'll sing some simple harmonies as you did in the um, vocal sessions with Arlen Hopkins um, rounds, canons on page two and um, possibly the Pachelbel canon if anybody's interested in or if anybody re knows that by Pachelbel old, old composer but a beautiful, beautiful piece of music can be done very nicely in a group situation 
Uh, a cannon is similar to a round, but everybody usually ends together. Whereas in a round, you don't. You end each part ends its own um, for its own time. Then we're going to demonstrate how I harmonize with a singer that has a difficult range. I have one that I will do for you. Chuck and I are going to harmonize in a duet, and then if any of you would like to harmonize with me, I will do the harmony, and you can do the melody. I would love to have that happen. I have something that I think everybody maybe knows, Winter Wonderland, and uh, this we usually do as a chase, Chuck and I, but it, it's kind of an echo chase where we're singing the same thing. We can do it in different ways, though. And if you would like to harmonize with me, if you know one of the singers that I have up here, I have Side by Side. I have, um, what are some of the other ones? Summertime, and uh, we have Blue Skies. We have uh, Show Me the Way to Go Home. If you know any of those and would like to kind of harmonize with me, I'd, I'd, or not, I will do the harmony. You can do the melody. Uh, I don't want to stick you with doing harmony. We could... We could do that. Unless you do it, <laughs> that'd be great. Uh, you want to show off a little bit, that'd be fine. And then, <laughs> pardon me? That's why here to learn <laughs> yeah, right. So, um, problems uh, and partners, any practice time. Um, well, pro with problems and partners, we'll go through uh, that after a break if you want to have a break. Okay, getting back to what I have on the board here, and for the tape, what I've done is outlined the C major scale and triads built on the C major scale, and also the chord structure that, um, for a keyboard purposes, is adjusted in order to play it without having to play this. Uh, sorry. In, in order not to have to play that, we're going to transfer the C, or the, we're going to transfer and keep the C in the four chord, which is the blue line, and then we're going to take F and A and move it up to where it is, and that's good for my hand. But also we can sing this also by dividing into four parts, which we'll do in a, uh, three parts, which we'll do in a minute, and then just taking the B and putting it down the octave. And then adding, bringing the G down, and that creates the 5 7 actually because we add the F, and then going back to the C, C major chord. Now, I just played this right in here, and for the tape, it is a picture of actually the 1 4 5 7, and I got the 5 7 by adding one more step to the 5 chord which is here, and you add that uh, one more whole step, and you get, actually it's a, a whole one. Actually, it's not quite a whole step. Uh, so you add that, and you get the 5-7. So we have a 1, and then we have a 4, and then we have a 5, 7, and 1. So could I have this section right here, sing the blue notes, which is C, or one, let's call it one. Would you sing that for me? One, and then the middle section sing three, three, and then the other section sing five, five. Okay, could we sing one, three, five, one after the other? One, five, good, okay. Now we're going to hold it and we're going to change. Could I have just the fives go from five to six? So you're going to go from, um, you're going to go from five to six here. When the change occurs, like up in the, up in the board here, the red notes, do you see the red notes? Five to seven, or five to six, okay. So could you just sing five, six? Five, six, and back to five. Five, five. You're going to go five, six, five, five. The red notes. Try it. Five, six, five, five. Now the middle section is three, four, four, three. All right, you got it? Go. Three, four, four, three. And then 
the ones are one, one, seven, one. Okay, ready, go. One, one, seven, one. Okay, let's try each part one more time. Ready, ones, ready, go. One, one, seven, one. And could we have the uh, middle section? Ready? Three, four, four, three. And the other section. Ready? Five. And one more time. Maybe I played it wrong. Five, six, five, five. Okay, all together. Ready? And go. Okay, one more time. Tune up on the ones, please. Ready, go. Okay, can I have the ones one more time? One more time. One, one. Good. The middle section. Three. Good. And the other section. Ready, go. Okay, let's try. Ready, and. That's great. Okay, that sounds more in tune. All right. So, this is just singing the changes which occur in our, in our uh, singing calls and our pattern records. That sounded real good. Now, let's try this. Let's do it without the piano. Okay. Here's your starting pitches. One and go. One more time, middle section. Ready? Just try. Three, four, four, three. Okay, let's try one more time. Here's your parts. One and go. Now, for the tape, if you can key into one of those parts and keep practicing one of those parts and change, and you can take part one, you can take part three, take part five, and kind of tune into it, and we'll get it in tune. Okay. One more time, just for the tape. Ready? Go. Good. Okay, one more time. That was good. Okay, great. Okay, then on um, that covers just about the first page. Um, on the experimentation, basic triads in parts, we can also work with the triads just going kind of up the scale. So if you start uh, with your basic triad and then just kind of move up here and then move here and then move up, you got to be very careful how you move that way. Um, part one has the easiest part. They're just going up the scale. <laughs> part three has a little bit tougher part. Okay. And part five, that's not too bad. Okay. Let's try it. Here's part one. Here's where part three starts. And here's where part five starts. Okay. I'll just play it with you and see if you can match the tones. Ready? Go. Don't go any farther. Go back down. Okay. Try it without the piano this time. Ready? Go. Good. Come back down. Good. Great. All right. Okay, on the second page. So that's kind of how we get harmony um, and how it kind of works um, vocally. Let's do some rounds and canons in three parts. And you did this a little bit with Arlen, but let's try it. Uh, just see how we do here. How many attended the voice and quality session? Just get an idea. Great. All right.
So we'll try Row, Row, Row Your Boat, which I heard you do real, real well. And um, those of you on the tape can take a part, one, three, or five, and just sing along right with the tape, okay? So here's, here's your starting pitch, part number one. Ready, go. Row, 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 row your boat. Three times. Easy stuff. Okay, you have that idea real, real well. Partner songs are a little bit different. They're on the back page, and Swing Low Sweet Chariot is one I wanted to do with everybody. And it also go, kind of goes along with uh, All Night, All Day. So just playing through... Um, we'll do this in two parts, of course, because we have two songs. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, and All Night, All Day. Could we have kind of, right between Corbin and, and Seal, that will be part two, and this row and be part one over here. Okay. So let's just sing through part one, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, with a piano. Ready? Go. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Part two is all night, all day. Here we go. All night, all day, angels watching over me, my Lord. All night, all day, angels watching over me. Okay, two parts. Starting here. One and go. Sweet chariot, come and pour and carry me home. Good. No, sweet chariot, come and pour and carry me home. Great. We got some good singers here. Let's switch parts. All right. Swing lows are over here and all night, all day over here. Anybody want to review? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Swing lows. You're over here. Ready? Go. Swing low, sweet chariot. Come and pour to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Come and pour to carry me home. Sorry about that. Okay, all night, all day. Ready? Go. Um, Swing low, you have to really make it right in time. Okay, so it's swing low, sweet chariot. Don't carry that low out too much. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem keeping up with all night, all day. All right, so here's this reverse parts. One, two, and go. Sweet chariot, come and pour to carry me home. My Lord, night. All day, angels watching over me. Try it again. Try it again. One more time. All get right in there on the all. All. All right. One, two, and go. All night, all day, angels watching over me, my Lord. All night, all day. Angels watching over me. All right. We've got harmony going in on in there. Even if you did it on Lou, 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 uh, you would have even a better idea of what the harmony was because you don't have the words that get in the way. But this is what's going on when you have a vocal part against an instrumental part. You have two different qualities going on, and they create the harmony. Um, 
That sounded great. Wow, it's so much fun to work with you guys. Okay, the Pachelbel Cannon is um, a very nice um, cannon, which is done instrumentally by string orchestras usually. But it can be done as a vocal exercise. And I'd like you just to do it on, um, hmm, let's see, this would be best, on just Lou, I suppose. Um, the, the pattern is this. Okay, that's all it is, and it just goes over and over and over again. Try it on Lou. Ready? Go. other now we're going to start each part all right you're going to come in after the first two so it's then it's okay so we'll hear the harmonies going all around us ready and first part go Stop there. Actually, I wanted you to hold the chord. Good. And resolve it to? <laughs> okay, great. Hey, it sounded real nice. That's the Pachelbel Canon, basically. Now, what, what Pachelbel did was, of course, he took that basic structure and he elaborated on it. And instead of just singing, he would, he would go... And I'll take it up with that high guess. And whatever he did, I'm just making that up. But you know, it's just all the passing tones and everything that goes on in between. And you can do that with a record like Summertime. And Chuck, you want to put that on? Um, it's on the other side. Um, when I do Summertime, I don't always do the same thing all the time with it um, because I like to fool around a lot. <laughs> that too. <laughs> We're going to have to start this again. <laughs> this is the Wade Driver version of the Summertime and it's on Rhythm Records. <laughs> I like to sing a lot of passing tones. <laughs> Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Oh, your daddy's rich and your mama's good looking. Yes, she is. Yeah, hush, little baby. Okay, that was just the, the the vocal version. I mean, you got a lot of calls going on in there and everything. But it, it's just fun to be able to harmonize with the record and not just sing the melody all the way through. And I imagine a lot of you do this, too. Okay. Um, going on. Since you do you know, round so well, I, I really don't feel we need to do the ones that are on the back page. Um and I just demonstrated the harmonization with a singer. 
Now with the patter, we have um, a different story, but of course you do this all the time. And put a patter on, Chuck. It doesn't matter which one. What is that? Oh, put on red pepper because red pepper, uh, this is on um, Chicago Country. Anybody use it? Red pepper? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> we have somebody for the tape. We have somebody who recorded red pepper. You want to come up and do it? Who is this man? Who is this? You don't use it, though, huh? Dave Sutter, right? Can't have mine. <laughs> Sorry, I really like this. This is a real driving pattern that um, is really great to use, but the chord changes in it are great. And after that introduction, just in the same kind of realm. But at any rate, you know, you can just use them. Use them as much as you can. I imagine that's what you do. Anybody want this number? Actually, that was a little slow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay. It says HCC 106. Well, Chicago country, I guess. I don't know what the H is for, but... I won't put that on the tape. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going on to uh, demonstration by my husband and I, and uh, the first one we'd like to do for you, uh, Chuck and I do a lot of um, dances together. The people really seem to like the male-female um, combination. They seem to like um, hearing a lot of old-timey records that are easy to harmonize and I would suggest if you want to get into harmonizing with somebody else that you pick something like side by side or this one remember me and this is on uh, J. Pat I can't read it going around um, Joe Pat yeah oh, well, whatever. Uh, ESP 7003 and uh, we use this a lot we use it at the end of a dance because uh, it's just kind of nice uh, remember me sort of thing I think I got it plugged plugged in now these aren't aren't balanced too well we hit yeah. a bar of the mics <laughs> and we also won't do the you know the full singer we'll just do the um, the beginning part so that you can hear the harmony Jump? Yeah, we thought maybe that I, I was turning it I down. I think the a little bit. record jumped too. I don't know. Yeah, don't don't bump the. Turn it down. It's still too loud. Thanks. Four ladies chain across that rainbow. Roll away in circle left go round. Four ladies roll away in circle. Left the left and now we move down. Remember me. Sweet when all alone 
long I'm dreaming Just to know you still remember me Now I, I feel, I heard that um, th- my voice was too loud and yeah they're they're not they're not balanced too well but at any rate what i can do to compensate for that is just to pull it away a little bit and that's just a technique that uh, most harmonizers have to know uh to do uh winter wonderland is the one that we want to have you some of you guys try if you'd like and um we find this is one of the easiest ones and i hope some of you kind of know it uh so that you can um man, you know sing along uh, with the partner or uh, with myself. This is on Silver Sounds and it is number 180. 180. Oh, just wait a minute. Going back to Remember Me, would anybody like to hear the harmony part alone without. All right, let's try that. Let's try that. <clears throat> and I'll I'll just skip through the beginning part. It's still too loud. We can't hear that. We can't hear it. Down even more. Whoa. You got wild speakers back there. And yeah, we, we can barely hear it up here. Here it comes. Remember me when the candlelights are gleaming. Will be so sweet when all alone I'm dreaming Just to know you still remember me And actually this is pretty close harmony It's it's just kind of just above Chuck's voice Okay And Winter Wonderland (laughs) Anybody got their car keys ready? This is a long lead in So we're going to have to wait a little bit. This is um, Silver Sounds again. (laughs) Circle left, sleigh bells ring. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? Are you listening? In the lane. In the lane. Snow is glistening. Snow is glistening. Will the men start on the right and turn at one time tonight? Left out man, weave the ring. Gone away, gone away. Is the bluebird, is the bluebird. Swing your girl and promenader. He sings a love song as, as we go along. along. When we're walking, walking in a winter, winter wonderland. wonderland. We can barely hear it up here. That's really tough, <laughs> especially for Chuck. And uh, Chuck's been calling about four years, and uh, he's really new to this. He's very new to singing with somebody and to singing harmony or having somebody sing the harmony and him carry the melody. Um, We had to work real hard at it. And those of you who don't sing with somebody who's singing harmony, um, if you keep working at carrying that tune yourself, carrying that melody yourself and having somebody harmonize with you, you will be able to do that. And it's fun to do it as long as you keep, as long as you feel comfortable with the melody and can hold on to that melody so that the person harmonizing can harmonize with you. That's what you have to be able to do if you want to work with somebody who harmonizes. Uh, Let me get the question on the tape, though. And I'm glad anybody interrupt me at any time so that um, we don't lose a train of thought. Okay, I'm a caller's wife, and I've been trying to train my caller, my husband, <laughs> my caller, to harmonize. See, I, I've often felt it's a God-given talent that it can't be learned. Now, I can, when I'm teaching someone about harmony, the visual is easy, and the music, and to have music and show him um, what notes. But when you're taking it off of a record, how do you teach someone? what note to choose or to be above in harmony or below in harmony because to me that's a God-given known. I know when to sing higher or lower and what it sounds like. He doesn't hear that. So how do you teach someone who can't hear that to harmonize? What note to choose? Well, he's not going to do the harmony. You are. No, but, he, but, but he's... That. That's the point. Does he want to? Do you want yeah. to be able to do that? <laughs> oh, he's... But he can't either. He okay, can't. okay. Well, you know, that's, that's something that has to be 
it can be learned. I mean, you don't have, yeah, sure, I think so, sure, yeah. It's just like any other tonal thing that you, you want to key into a particular tone. You have to start matching your voice to you that. It there, like it would be easy for me to write it down and say, okay, you sing these notes on the piano, right up. See, when, when the music's on the record, um, I would have to transpose that into music and take it on the piano and say, you sing this, 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 and this. But that isn't going to happen. It's easy with, like, you teach from notes usually. So how do you teach? What exercises you could do is take a patter record and have him sing the tone that he hears, and you tell him whether he's right or not. He doesn't hear the harmony. That's why I think it's going to Wait, wait, wait. He must hear something, though. He, he can sing melody beautifully, mm -hmm. but doesn't understand what note to get. All right. And neither does he. All right. Well, it, he doesn't know what two. He doesn't know what is two notes higher or two. Mm -hmm, two mm -hmm. Yeah, that takes practice. That takes practice singing. Well, sure, you can sing one three five. You can sing one three five and just keep hearing the the, the distance between one and three. But it, it, I mean, I can't do it in one session. Some you can of, sing some one of the three music five. Lends itself, I think, to harmonize more than others. Have a comment over here. They want to say. Uh, you'll have to come up. We only have one. We're all going to run back. Uh, I'm Connie Sipe from uh, Northern California. And my husband and I do a lot of calls together. Uh, he does the patter part and I do the melody. I do a lot of the melody. And when we harmonize together, uh, we have a real good time with it. But I do think all it would take would be a lot of practice. Because that's the way... I mean, I had never sang before at all until I started helping my husband do singing calls and we have such a good time with it but uh, it just takes a lot of practice a lot do you sing the melody Connie I sing the melody. yeah right you stay on it what you could do what you could do is is sing a pitch then sing the third if you can sing the third have him sing it to you then go back to the tonic or the the one if that's what he wants and then really, really try, yeah, but it, it takes a lot of time. I mean, it takes years to be able to instantaneously trans, translate you know those tones. Yeah, but you've been singing a long time. Have you been singing chorally? But have you been singing chorally? Thank you very much, Larry. <laughs> Okay. That was Shelley Lee, and she would, really wanted to teach her husband how to sing harmony. If you start a singing call and you know the, the metal, melody line, take the record off, sing the melody line. Find the first note, take it up to the third, and sing it from there. Then put the back, record back on, have him sing the third with the record, and he be, may be able to find it. Once he learns it in the third, above or below, learns it with the third, then put the record on and make him stay at that third. That might help him stay at that third up above it. If you learn the third part without hearing the first, then put them together. That might help him work it together. That may work, but you will come to a point where there will be a clash, and then you'll have to adjust. And that's something that you hear also. Any other comments? Do you want to make about that? Okay. Um, next, Columbus Stockade Blues is a chase, but it's a little bit different than Winter Wonderland. You all set? Okay. This is a little bit more fun. Hmm? Yeah, right now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this is again uh, Silver Sounds, and uh, what number is that? Circle F, way down. Way down. Columbus, Georgia. Columbus, Georgia. Well, I want to go, go back, back to Tennessee. Tennessee. Left Alabama, side over oh. around your own. Well, the men starved by the right one time for me. Turn the partner by the right now. Left Alabama, come back and swing in front of me In your heart, in your heart, your love another Well, leave the darling, I don't mind We're 
real hard time hearing yeah, the music. Can, you guys are going to have to plug up your ears back yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. But that, so that's kind of an example of a chase. Um, it wasn't as good as we usually do it because Chuck couldn't really hear, you know, the record back there. But um, you want to go out and do it? Sure, let's do it out there. Maybe you can hear it better. We're going to try this again and see if we can put more energy into it. All set. Circle left, way down. Way down. Columbus, Georgia. Columbus, Georgia. I want to go, go back to Tennessee. Tennessee. Careful. Left down, man. Go around your own. Well, the man was strong for the right one time for me. Right. Turn the park here by the right and you go left down, man. Come back one and swing. Promenade, go round that land. Well, in your heart. In your heart, you love, love another. another. Silver Sounds and uh, 155. number 155. Okay, we've changed the tape. So, anybody out there want to do some harmonization or want to uh, harmonize with me or sing melody and you want to do the group? Okay, sure. How are we going to do this? Do you want to take the melody? We can't have about 50 different harmonies. One, but <laughs> I mean, we could. <laughs> I don't know. Winter Wonderland. Anybody game to do this? Anybody really want to come up and try it? Some of you are real experienced. You ought to be able to do this. Well, okay. All right, we'll do that. Okay, just a minute, sweetie. We're going to do it as a group, all right, so you get the feel for it. And I'm going to do the beginning part. You come in after. This is a chase. Okay? On Winter Wonderland. Whoa. Oh, 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 okay. Tell me if it's too loud back there. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening in the lane? Snow is glistening, a beautiful sight. We're happy tonight, oh, walking in a winter wonderland. Okay, good. Um, well, actually, let's do that again and just continue on. Everybody know the words? I, I think I know all the words, so we don't have to do any calls. Listening in the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Now, I didn't hear much harmony, I was doing melody. Okay, no, 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 they're harmonies, they're doing the harmony. Uh huh. Well, that's why I want you to do it individually. Okay, so anybody who wants to come up. Connie, did you want to try it? That's something that I would like to learn more of. Okay, come on up. Sure. Who would you like to be the chaser? We've tried a lot. Uh-huh. It doesn't work real well. I would like to Okay, try. sure. You want to chase me? Okay. Okay, you can chase me. Can you hear that? Sleigh bells ring, sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? Are you listening? In the lane, in the night. Snow is glistening, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Oh, we're walking in a winter wonderland. Yeah, all right, good. Anybody else? Give Connie a hand. That was great. I was off a little bit. Columbus Stockade. Right. Columbus Georgia. Way down Columbus Georgia. That takes a little bit more. She wanted to do Columbus Stockade Blues, and I told her that takes a little bit more practice. 
Anybody want to try Columbus Stockade Blues? Anybody know it? Hey, come on up. Great. Um, this is Elmer Claycomb. Whoa. You want to chase or you want to, me to chase? Yeah, that's one thing you have to decide when you do hard. Never, never said a word. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll, I'll follow. okay, he's going to chase. Here we go. You got the sound up? Good. Way down, oh, way down. Columbus, Georgia. Columbus, Georgia. Go back to Tennessee. Tennessee. Left down the man, the corner lady. Now you dose it all your own. Well, the men star by the right in the middle. One time around you go, turn your partner by if the right. Left down to man, to swing your lady promenade in, in my heart. heart. You'll love another. Hey, leave a little darling, I don't mind. mind. Now you heard we had two harmonies going there. Because I wasn't on the melody. I don't know the melody, I don't think. <laughs> that was great, Cl- Elmer. Thanks. I guess where I'm going a little bit more where you're going and yeah. see if I can okay. get where I ought to be. And where, where is that? Darn if I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's do it again. <laughs> I don't know it other than the calls. I wish somebody else knew the words to this. Way down, Way down Columbus, Georgia, Columbus, Georgia. I want to go back to Tennessee. Left down the man, the corner lady, then do sit on your own. For the men star by the right, no time for me. Turn the partner by the right, and he go left down the man. Hey, swing your partner, promenade the man in your heart, in your heart, you love another. Well, leave a little darling. I don't mind. Yeah. All right. Give a hand to Elmer. That was great. Whew, what talent we have here. <laughs> Anybody else? Come on up. You want? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got two people now. Okay. Want to do summertime? But just the regular song. I don't know what it's brilliant. All right. Great. Jerry, you have no idea where I sing. Well, just. Summertime. No, that's harmony. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Your daddy's rich and your mom. Good, good looking. Now hush, little baby, don't you cry. Woo, yeah. <laughs> now, talk about two female voices. You really have to be real, real careful with two female voices. Sometimes they, they don't blend as well as a man and a woman. Um, Seal has a lovely alto voice there and I'm sure you were nervous and couldn't really build down. it's very hard to hear up here yeah 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 so uh, maybe if we take everybody out front it'd be better I think it'd be better uh, anybody else want to try some stuff here come on Don yeah okay great good good yeah yeah let's walk out front <laughs> uh, what? Chase me. Oh, sure, I'll chase you. Okay. It's Columbus Stockade Blues, Don Brown, right? Four ladies chain goes straight across the ring. Turning chain those ladies right back home. Well, you join hand circle to the left, around you go. Let down a man and weave the ring. Well, go and leave me if you want to. 
never let it cross your mind. Cross your mind in your heart. You love another. Well, leave it alone and I don't mind. Very nice. All right. Good. Uh huh. Anybody else want to try it? Yeah. Yeah, well, no, I didn't. And Chuck just suggested that I explain that sometimes it's, it's difficult to stay on the melody because you have somebody singing with you who's singing something different. And so it's very important that you practice a lot. And Chuck does. He practices a lot to stay on that melody. In fact, he tries not to listen to me. That's one of the reasons I had to do rounds and things like that. And that's one way to practice, actually. Hearing harmony and just singing rounds together. Um, You probably could do that, Shelley. Is your husband Jim? Yeah. You could do that together, just singing rounds and things like that. Just to, you know, hear what's happening, but staying in your own part. That's part of it. Anybody else want to try it? Okay. Um, We're probably way ahead. Oh, no, it's 4.30. My goodness. Okay. um, Does anybody want to come up here and show their stuff harmonizing together? Anybody have any partners want to do it? Hey, yeah, come on up. You can give it on the tape. Do you? Okay, Columbus Stockade Blue, sure. Yeah, come on up front so you can uh, hear the. Go up front there so you can hear. This is Claude. Claude and Connie. And Claude and Connie Sipe. And we're from Northern California. Already. Not going to be able to hear the music if I turn it up too much. Then we won't. Okay. Yeah, you want the word, don't you? I don't know if that's the same thing I do. Doesn't matter. Way down Columbus, Georgia, I want to be in Tennessee. Walk around that corner, girl, and see saw you go. I am around the corner, girl, and we. Oh, go and leave me if you need to. Swing that lady, then you promenade her home. Way down Columbus, Georgia. I want to be in Tennessee. Okay, so um, what you have to do is... Try to press my mic. Yes, I am. Do you want to try this again? Because I don't think your mic was on. What you have to do is listen to him, and then just a few kind of beats afterwards, you have to come in. So it's way down, way down. So he sings way down, and you're going way down, Columbus, Georgia. Hey, you really need something for music up here. You can't. I start doing it, and I I can't hear it. Where's, Where's the speaker? Hello there. Oh, there's one. Okay. 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 Let's see what happens. (laughs) Did anybody pay the band? Way down down. Columbus, Georgia, I want to be in Tennessee. A walk around the corner, girl, and see saw you go. Now, and I'm in the corner, girl, and weaver, and you go. Wait. A go and leave me if you need to. Swing that lady, then you promenade her home Wait. in your car. Take love another. Oh, go and leave me if you do. You really have to practice on this. Thank you, Connie Thank you. And, and Claude. Yeah, you, you need a lot of practice on it, and there's a lot of things that just don't come natural. There's a lot of records that Jerry and I have tried, and they just don't work, so we leave them alone. And that's some of the things, uh, Shelley, that Jim may hear. He may have to listen to a record, and if he doesn't hear the harmony in the record, move on. Uh, he, he's probably more like me in that regard. Oh, I hope we don't have any problems with this. I hear some buzzing. Okay, um, 
We can go right through so we get, oh, yes. Side-by-side Oh, you know what I wanted to show you with Blue Skies was um, something that um, happened quite by accident, but if you want to practice harmony and you've recorded a record or even with somebody else who you like the sound of their voice and they're singing the melody because a lot of callers on the reverse side they don't sing the melody they'll sing something else and you can't well, you could harmonize with them but it wouldn't be the same thing as singing with someone who's singing the melody so this is blue skies which i recorded and one time wait a second check one time i was doing a convention and um i just flipped the wrong side on similar to this and uh, all of a sudden <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what I did <laughs> a long lead in and you'll hear me science face grand square blue sky smiling at me nothing but blue Skies, do I see underneath the ring? Blue days, all of them gone, swing promenade. Oh, nothing but blue skies from now on. So that's something you can do just to practice. <laughs> oh, thanks. And um, uh, under the next section, we'll get, we'll get into the next section, is problems and your partners. Pick your partners wisely, and you also have to be able to blend with that partner. Um, practice time is essential. You have to get together. And, but it can be very rewarding and can be a good act in your dance program. It can be something that... Um, you won't want to do a whole lot. We do duets maybe in the beginning. If we're featured as a duet couple, we'll do it at the beginning. Maybe at the end. We won't do every tip. We always alternate tips. Uh, I will call a tip and Chuck will call a tip. Uh, sometimes if it's a, a social club, a club that really likes more social um, not a lot of high-level choreography or anything. They just want to be there to socialize. We'll do a two-singer duet to start. And they will do two singers in the middle because they really like the singers. They like that, um, that happy kind of non-serious dancing. And uh, so we'll give them that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm getting there. Uh, Chuck mentioned um, singing uh, harmony really just only on the tag lines. Uh, we know callers that will do harmony on the calls, but we don't suggest it. Uh, it can be confusing to dancers. Um, what comes to mind just right now is we heard Tim Crawford one time do a um, singing call with another caller on the reverse side, and he was doing completely different calls than the caller, and you really had to concentrate very hard. <laughs> but that's Tim, so <laughs> I wouldn't try it. <laughs> But he, he, he just can get away with that so easily. He's fantastic that way. But it was really interesting. You really, really had to listen. Um, figure changes. We, we change a figure every once in a while, but we really usually don't um, for when we do duets. It depends on both the callers, if they're comfortable with figure changes. Sometimes it can mess up the tagline. If, you're, if the dancers are not keeping right in there. Also, I haven't mentioned a lot of um, records such as um, One More Town on Chinook. Uh, a lot of Chinook records have harmony right on the vocal, uh, vocal harmonies right on the record, and they're really, really nice to do. And if you can blend in and harmonize with that. How's that start? Turn your partner by the right now Left out a man and you weave that ring If there's one more town I'll be going Swing your lady round All promenade If there's one more song 
I'll be singing. I'm always going, but I don't know where. So that's something you can do, which is really life. a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I see some of you know it and use the record. <laughs> well, wonderful. That's, um, what number is that? One more town, Chinook on uh, 118. <laughs> no, it's really amazing. You can't. Yep. Hi Hat has a, a really good series of of records that you can get either harmony or without harmony, and those work really well. Yeah, that's right. They just started doing that, or have they done it a long time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, going on down the line on my outline. As far as fees for duet teams, we had to kind of negotiate a lot of the time. And we actually asked advice about what we should do and how much we should charge. Because we do have two callers. Um, it is special. And we do charge more than we normally would for just one of us. We just feel it's a very special um, performance that we're giving. We put more time into it. Not necessarily more time than you would into a, a single collar dance, but there is extra practice time, so we, we feel we're worth it. Uh, we do um, publicize um, us as a duet team, and uh, it, it works. It works. If you can make it work, it really is a good selling point for, for dances. Sure, here's Chuck. Uh, I was just going to say about the figures. Jerry mentioned about changing the figures. One of the things that we concentrate on is when we're singing duets, you're really selling the duet. You're selling the music and not the choreography. That's another reason why we don't go through a lot of figure changes and complicated figures. We really are trying to sell our singing uh, and the music, and we pick, pick the music uh, accordingly. On voice blending on page uh, 3... Um, male female works real well but then again you have to work with that person and record I would record your voices together and because when you sing together sometimes it doesn't sound the same as if you record it so it does help to record it and then you kind of can hear what the dancers are hearing uh, two Two guys together sound wonderful as long as the voices blend blend is the key word there uh, under techniques, I already mentioned that the harmonizer usually pulls away a little bit because the melody is the important thing. The melody is really what the dancers want to hear. Uh, the harmonies are the background to the melody, and um, it's, it's, it's meant to be a blended sort of sound. And if you can get that and really make it sound well, it's very appealing to the dancers. It really perks them up, kind of, you know. Um, I think we covered the rest of it under, under programming also we don't um, work together every tip we give equal time to each other we're married but we do give equal time <laughs> and um, we program the duets you know, within the dance accordingly um, we don't give them a whole lot all the time but we do, we do give them as as much of the duets as we can. Okay, question, come up to the mic. This is question answer for anybody who wants to ask any questions. Okay. Bob Fairman. Fairman, yeah. Yeah, no, I work with another caller in the St. Louis area. And when we do a dance together, we do charge accordingly because it takes a lot of practice. But we do, what we do is we'll start off the first tip, we'll do hash and singer together. Then from then on until either the middle of the dance or the last of the dance, one of us will do the hash, but we'll both do all the, we'll do all the singers together. And, uh, but like I say, we do charge accordingly because it takes a lot of time. We we spend a lot of time at each other's house, and uh, he I live in I live in the south area of St. Louis, and he lives in the north area of St. Louis County. So we spend a lot of time just driving back and forth practicing, but uh, uh, consistently, consistently, our uh, our crowds, our, our dances are, are uh, if you want to call it sold out or 
standing room only almost whatever but we only do a couple a year we don't do them all the time because we just don't have the time to get together but it works out real well thanks for saying that and also uh, it reminds me of um, a point that the harmony that I do is improvisational much as a sight caller improvises with dancers and then resolves them back to the square uh, but a lot of people who do harmony practice specific harmony that is the same all the time what you'll hear on the records like one more town that is harmony in thirds or fifths that really is specific all the time and that takes continual practice so that it is the same all the time Jerry Junk and Daryl Clendenin do that kind of harmony almost like barbershop all the time and they practice exactly what they want to do what I do with Chuck is improvisational it's what I happen to hear at the time in the chord changes and like Shelley was saying it's instinctive to a certain extent but it is a learned process over a period of years and um, I don't think unless you do it unless you can do it you shouldn't do it unless you really know how to do that sort of um, harm harmonization any other questions that you may have for Chuck or I, Sal? It's, it's not really a question. It's kind of, um, as you noticed when you were trying to harmonize with me, I don't sing melody. I sing third. I go anywhere in that record I can to make it work for me. And I think that's something that any of us that go in to sing with another male or female, you have to be very aware of that because you can't always harmonize I'm a very hard person to harmonize with. Well, it would be important for one person to do the melody because to a certain extent the harmony person does key off the melody and the words have to be in sync together also. So that takes practice. So there's a lot more to it than just getting up and singing together. It, there's really a lot to singing harmony. Any other questions or comments or anything you'd like to put on the tape? So, yeah? What is side by side song? Oh, side by side. <laughs> well, if, would anybody like to harmonize with me on that? Or because um, I could do it if, you, if you'd like, but it's um, going to be really straight up, I think. I don't know whether I harmonize with this or not. I brought it actually for somebody to harmonize with me because I thought it might be known pretty much. You want to come up and do it, Connie? Or Oh, Chuck. Oh, Chuck, he doesn't know this. Right? Do you know it? You want to do it? Okay, go ahead. That's fine with me. Well, the poor little lady's from an go inside. Run back home and get that guy a swing. You join Circle left around that plane. I'll around that corner and you win. Oh, we don't have a barrel of money. Maybe, Maybe we're ragged and funny. Oh, we'll travel the road. Well, we're carrying our load side by side. That was strictly improvisational without practice. <laughs> Let me tell you. You might not have heard it back there either because I, yeah. I, I had it up here so I could hear the music. Yeah. It's TNT, side by side. And that's on, that's number 243. Anybody else? No? Yeah, play. Or uh, no, this is. Um, yeah, Mike, Mike, Mike. Can, can I do the. Can I do lead on summertime and you do the harmony on it? All right? Because I, I tried to chase you the last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this now is I'm going to yeah, have her well. chase me. We're going to go out and hear the music. <laughs> it's been the hardest thing. And you've never heard us do this before. No, right? I, know. I, I will try to stay on the metal. <laughs> Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping, Fish are jumping and the cotton is hard. And the cotton is hard. Left Alabama, you 
Turn your partner right, left hand up and that corner wheel a ring and hush little baby, don't you cry. <laughs> well, we tried. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, there's another version of Summertime which is a lot faster, and that may be a little. Well, you wouldn't need higher, would you? You would need. Yeah, you have to. Well, the original, the original, and if you, if you think of that that pitch or that key that we were just in. The actual melody is summertime and the living is easy because from Porgy and Bess, it was really way up there and she was up in the stratosphere when she sang that and actually ended way, way up there too. So it's, uh, that's, that's where it is. Or else you can bring it down the octave. Summertime and the living is easy. But it's real hard for me to get that way, so I go. Summertime and the living is easy. I can't sing the, the actual living. Summertime and the living is easy. It doesn't fit in there. It doesn't fit. That won't fit. I don't think. Maybe it will. I don't know. I haven't tried that. But... It's right in the middle where a seal would be. It's right in the middle. It's not really down and not really up. It's kind of in the middle. And that's where I would put it for that record. Okay, thanks very much, everybody. I appreciate you coming. Thanks. <laughs>